EA Sports. It's in the game. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Do that again. That looks good. Do that one more time. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see made throughout the fight? Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging for the fences. He may have to adjust his game where he's using the jab more, looking for singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. Blocks away that head shot. Not able to land the uppercut. Whitaker's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? A head shot block. Carries that punch intended for the head. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Guerrero's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Pernell Whitaker's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. A clean, crisp right hand by Pernell Whitaker. Whitaker's doing well here with that two-punch combination. That last round really damaged him. Guerrero's face does not look good at all. You can see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they're tending to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head, don't get caught so you won't look that way? Maybe they didn't do their job. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And he's holding. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Look at that combination by Pernell Whitaker. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Hey, keep your hands up. Oh. And now looking to hang on. Whitaker's punch is far off the target. Great work offensively landing that combination by Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Whitaker's combination punching is working well here. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym and you love when you see it executed. He just missed that shot. Oh, he is stunned. He could, oh, and there you go. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes. Now up he goes. 
gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. And we come to the end of round number two. Robert Guerrero's corner has to come up with a game plan. Now, they need to advise their fighter as to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that, hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Whitaker's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Pernell Whitaker. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Keep doing what you do. Cover up. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Guerrero is searching for an answer here, but you can see that he is battered and damaged, and this could be over soon. And he's an offensive fighter, always been an offensive fighter, always been confident, always been tough, always been the kind of mindset you want in a fighter. Right now, that's betraying him because he's never been a guy who's had to survive. And right now, he needs those instincts, instincts that have never. Oh! Wow, is this good stuff? What good stuff? He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And that's the end of round three. Good, fun, entertaining fight if you're a fan, if you're a broadcaster. If you're in these two corners, you're probably sweating now as they've traded knockdowns. Now, you do have them up to That's a huge left. He just big, big shot comes crashing home. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three. The ref stops the fight. Pernell Whitaker smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. A definitive ending to this bout. Sweet P, Pernell Whitaker's knocked out. Questions about his chin before this fight? Those questions, they've been answered. Good enjoy. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the State Palace. You got this one. You got well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is a 10-round. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. 
It's a mighty list of power punchers that Muhammad Ali has continually faced. You got Joe Frazier on there. You got George Foreman on there. And tonight, now nice. this power puncher nice. on Muhammad Ali's big shot. Oh, right off the bat, he goes down. Round number one, and he's on the floor. Came out a little careless, and he paid a price. One, two. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. You need to keep that head moving. And bang, and away he goes. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Ali's left now getting into the mix. Morrison's the victim of a big shot there. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And it's all over. Ali's game plan works to perfection. The power came early. A first round knockout victory. Wow, the theater of the unexpected. Who would have ever expected that? Muhammad Ali's one single lightning bolt of a punch ends this night early. And it came right out of...